Because the house has fans. They are big, they are very bitter people, I promise you. Hey, very look at me for that matter. Like, you see this nonsense he's trying to do. Maybe look at me for anything. You know, you know, you know, that's why I'm coming here to say I'm sorry for my character. But you yourself, you have to say you're sorry for something. This guy, in a pain out when, when Doyin said, you will, your jello fries is nice. He has... Nobody can even need to tell them what to do. Tell them what to do, too. Let me say, they cry. I can't console you. They say, change for me. I think they should just find out. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Phone Pop with Lillian. How are you all doing? So another night gist from Biggie's house. So after the HOH has been won and the whole house being put up for eviction, you know, the housemate decided to, you know, go their ways. <laughs> But I just noticed that if you are very observant, you will notice everybody is trying to give us highlights this evening. But anyways, let's start off the gist with Alex and Perry. So while Alex was in the room trying to, you know, advise Yuria regarding her issue with white money, Perry walked in and from there they started talking. And Perry asked Alex, were there any time you were in good terms with Sissy? And Alex said, of course, there were times, but then it was one-sided because she was the only one always reaching out to Sissy. That she has this thing she does, that time she bring out time to call all contacts on her phone, that she always check up on everyone. In fact, that she created a WhatsApp group with Rico Suave, where they had all the Big Brother Niger housemates. Hmm. Wow. But she said moving on she can never be friends with Sissy because one thing with Sissy is that she always look less of someone that she always find a way to use you that there was a time Sissy called and she said you know what come and model my um, brand for me that with Sissy you are always the lesser one and that she has a specialty in talking down on people hmm but what Sissy doesn't know is that the Alex of this season is not the same Alex she was during to this time. Hmm. Wow. I'll just go to corner and cry about it. But that right now, it can be like that. Alex said in the previous season, for every little thing, she goes ahead apologizing. She even narrated to Perry how Sissy made her a medium man between her and Toby, and that Sissy almost drained out the life out of toby but she doesn't want to go there she went ahead to say that sissy even have anger issues and that she knows sissy haven't been to any anger management therapy like she said she would be attending during the last season hmm. as if that's not enough for oh. alex went ahead to even talk about sissy fans sissy's fans she said sissy is not just toxic and nasty that her fans as well are toxic that she has women <laughs> she has had broken women who would rather blame it on the guy or the woman and not on their bad behavior wow mm. she said she herself she's not perfect but then one needs to be working on their character alex also said that one thing about her is that there was a time she almost had toxic friends but she decided to remove some people and even block some that sissy really need to work on herself that she's too toxic meanwhile brother Perry is already telling alex that he is the only one that sees you in this house that he's the only one that sees your pain he's the only one that sees your struggle he's the only one that can see when you're angry or not that after the show is going to be the both of them that he would just you know take you away fly you to america and alex was even like oh tell me it's not new york you know you know new york is stressful blah 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 and Perez said no not new york and from there they even started talking about her film school and all of that okay oh <laughs> meanwhile on the other hand cross decided to have a talk with sissy regarding the whole para issue cross told sissy that para is not really happy with you regarding how you said you don't want you know to have a conversation or discussion with him in this house until the end of this game and when cross even asked sissy how did you even come to know about this para guy 
and Sissy went ahead to narrate how it all started about um, through a movie contact that you know Pere reached out, connected her with someone for a shoot, and the rest is history. Whatever, whatever. And then he called me and told me there's this woman. Sissy said because the movie was shot in the US that they became very close not just as you know co-workers but people from the Big Brother Niger platform and she said that since then they've been very close that even Pyro to coming into the house you know they were helping each other they were asking each other oh have you gotten your mail you know this they were discussing literally everything about the show that she was surprised coming into the show to realize that you know Pere has changed. She said that what pained her the most is the day she had that issue with Alex, and instead of Pere trying to say the truth, decided to side Alex, saying, "Oh, this girl have been working hard. This, 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 that." In the essence, all Pere was trying to portray is that she's trying, you know be an obstacle or be so um be like a sort of condemnation to alex hard work and all that and cross went ahead to, to even tell cc um about the whole alex thing in the middle and cc said you know what please nobody should bring me into any triangle or any circle or any sheep now coming into this house sheep is not any of her strategy <laughs> that this is the narrative she doesn't want to ever be in in again especially when it comes to alex sissy became so furious and said please you guys should dead the narrative meanwhile speaking of narrative neo has apologized to ilibaye and while neo tried to explain the whole scenario again to ilibaye and doing saying that he never led ilibaye on that he was very sincere with her right from day one but Ilebaye even tried to explain more <laughs> Nyo didn't really give Ilebaye the chance to speak more because Ilebaye wanted to explain on how Nyo led her on on how she felt she was being played or used on how what Neo says is not what he portrays, okay? But then Doyin said, you know what? I think the both of you really misunderstood each other. And when Neo apologized, Ilebaye just kept mint. And Neo said, no, you have to apologize as well. And even when Ilebaye said, you know, um, I'm sorry, and Neo said it doesn't look like an apology. But one thing I really want to ask is, I don't know why Neo is apologizing on monday evening is it the eviction is it like i don't know but guy saturday night you know you are claiming your rights sunday morning you and your sister were still busting everywhere and all of a sudden you are apologizing are they trying to give us a show <laughs> speaking of new sister venita was in the restroom crying and when she walked in and tried to know what's up and she said you know she feels her brother Neo doesn't have her back in this game hmm. that why she was trying to you know the whole pardon me thing Neo said it's stolen a badge he will need to pardon and why she moved to Neo to find out why will you do this to your sister and Neo said no I guess be a man that Venita has her pepper them um, her pepper them click they already have an alliance and alliance but here he knew only half Tolani badge and uh, why the whole alliance thing was even happening the Venita woke up to him and told him to go meet Sissy and convince Sissy to pardon her <laughs> But I honestly do not know why Venita is angry at you. Because even when Venita went into the diary room to pardon someone, it was um, Ike Onyema, Ike that she mentioned, not even new. And anyways, I'm glad Neo wants to know, have his stand and play his game. Speaking of playing the game, Princess confided in Alex that the reason why she seems not to be having 
more conversation or being active in the house is because the last time she was on this platform she noticed that people saw it from from her you know people perceived her as someone that boasts that when she came out they kept talking on how when she was in the house she was only always referring to her u.s trip london trip and all that she they said this time around she just wants to be calm that there is no wrong in keeping quiet you know she just wants to keep to herself and although alex think otherwise alex advised her to be more vocal to be active to involve in interaction you know to air her opinion during group discussions and not just only was alex the one advising a housemate she and adekuli has decided to advise summer as well after they congratulated congratulated him for being pardoned they advised him you know to be more active in the house to go around and socialize that has he seen that even the ladies were happy he was pardoned that he should go and mingle now you know look for one or two babes that okay if he's going to be angel at least let them officially know that summer gel is a thing <laughs> Honestly, this guy is a. <laughs> Meanwhile, Doin was very honest to express her feelings regarding Soma being pardoned. Doin said before the whole pardon thing that their alliance agreed to put up Soma during eviction, but to her greatest surprise, only to see that oh, he was pardoned. You know, in there, she was very honest to say that. Oh, congratulations, someone for being pardoned. But if it was an eviction, I could have entered there and put you up for eviction. And she said honestly, she was surprised at the way, you know, the ladies went to go hug him. People that had these conversations with her regarding nominating Summer up, you know, went to hug him and all that. And she said she feels betrayed. That moving forward. It's better to just play this game that it seems like she's the only one who is very honest with her opinion or her moves regarding this game and i think doing is not even the only one feeling that way Messi ak also had a conversation with fraud and said you know what i think all man should just play their game because things are beginning to turn around people are not keeping to their words i think the whole pardon meeting is just like it kind of changed all their alliances and strategy wrapping up evening gist with what really happened between white money and uriel so white money said in a while they were having a conversation uriel talked about her mom you know being ill like we all know uriel's mom is ill and white money said why uriel was trying to narrates how sick her mom is he decided to say oh well i saw a post of you and your mom before the show you know white mom you're not going to be happy completely if you don't cook but it may seem as though that didn't really go well with uriel because white money said immediately uriel went from zero to hundred why the rest of the housemates are advising white money to go and meet uriel you know ask her why like what happened the whole outpost and all that white money said no that he won't be making that move because if uriel genuinely saw him as a friend he won't you know go on off on him in public that for instance if he has a problem with fraud that he will just go and meet fraud and settle his problem and not shouting everywhere but then the sissy advised white money that it's all about emotions you know being that her mom is the bone of contention here you don't know how she really feel and you know how the house can have effect on people but then white money was to say no 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 i'm not going to do that meanwhile kid wire said there will be a food roaster hmm <laughs> because you know during the outburst, Syria kept saying on how white money is using that kitchen as a strategy that the other day she made jollof rice and people said oh she cooks well only for white money to come to the next day and make jollof rice again 
what is white money trying to prove that white money is, keeps bullying her that white money even refused to eat her food although white money said that why she has been be eating uriel's food is that uriel cook in a healthy way and that doesn't sit well with his test bond so he rather cook his meal in an unhealthy way and eat but then kids said there will be a cooking roaster maybe everybody will have to participate this time around but fraud told white money not to stop cooking because he really enjoys his cooking you can't even stop me i like to chop your noodles stand stop this. cooking no, no, no. meanwhile fraud took that opportunity to talk about the eye service in the house and told white money to just do your thing if cooking makes you happy go ahead and cook that's why uria was going upstairs that even people him fraud cook for were busy telling uria oh that they will miss her and her meals meanwhile he's the one that will be feeding them since the show started fraud said don't look at anybody's face because even the people that are eating your meal will still go there and you know and put you up for eviction so do your thing <laughs> crazy nights anyways thank you for listening i hope you enjoyed listening to the whole details it was actually a long one but please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and begging your beg like this video for me and feel free to comment as well if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, what are you waiting for now support your girl now mm -hmm. anyways thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye